Hey guys, in this video you will see how you can fix the problem that Android APK files are not properly deleted on BlackBerry 10. Ryan, let's see. <laughs> So this will be a very quick and short video, but I hope that it'll be very, very helpful. And I hope the lighting is good as well. Is it? I guess. I hope so. So many people have the problem that on their BlackBerry 10 device, the APKs or Android APK files, which are applications that normally run on Android, as you probably all know, Android applications also run on BlackBerry 10, that they don't get properly deleted. How do you notice that? Maybe you delete an app to install another version of the APK file, but once you want to install the new version, your phone says there's already uh, a newer version or the same version existing on your device, but you cannot see it anywhere on your phone because you think you've deleted it by pressing, by long tapping the icon and then clicking on the cross. But sadly, BlackBerry 10.3.2 has a problem with deleting apps. Most of the time, if you click on the cross on that Android APK file, it'll just show you that it isn't on your phone anymore, but in, in reality, it is still on your phone, but you just can't see it. Because that is a problem because it will still run in the background, use your battery or your storage. So how can you fix this? There's actually a official solution from BlackBerry. And I've posted a link in the description box below and you have to open that link with your BlackBerry 10 device in order to make it work. And it's called the Android Runtime Fixer or Patcher, I think, and uh, that fixes the problem. So once you click the link with your BlackBerry 10 device, you will get taken directly into the BlackBerry World application and there you'll see a file that you can download. So you just click download, you let it install, you let it do its thing. You don't need to open it. There's no need for that at all. Once it's done, just close the BlackBerry World application restart your device and once it's booted back up your fix or patch is installed onto your device. Now you still have the problem that the file of the APK or the files in general are still on the device. So how can you remove those APK files that you can't see anymore? Well there's also a, an application called BlackBerry Google ID. Uh, I've talked about that in my uh, how to install the Google Play Store video that you can see by clicking up there. But I also leave a link in the description box below where you can download that application as well as the two other files you need for the BlackBerry uh, for the Google Play Store on your BlackBerry 10 device. But you only need the BlackBerry Google Google ID APK. So you just click on that app BlackBerry Google ID and you have three dots on the top right corner. Just press on them and you'll see. Uh, a tab called Android settings. Just click on it and it will get taken into the original Android settings that you'd have if you've used a, an Android device. And in that settings you can click on apps, choose the app that you don't, don't see anymore but is still on your device, just click on it and click delete. And once you've clicked delete on there, it will get deleted and it's fully deleted from the device and you're back to normal. And with that Android patch, all your future APKs will be deletable. I don't know if you can use this word, but you can delete them properly without any, any further problems and without using the Google BlackBerry ID application. So that was the solution to that problem. I hope you understood everything I just said, or I hope you could follow my instructions. It's actually not that uh, difficult to fix. So I hope this video was helpful enough. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you give the video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below if it worked for you. I'd be very happy if it worked for you. And also make sure you press that subscribe button because I post a lot of BlackBerry videos, also app reviews, solutions, product reviews, and I hope maybe someday something else in BlackBerry. We'll see. So again, I hope you liked this video and I hope we see us in my next video, probably about BlackBerry. So until then, stay tuned. Bye.